so hi guys today we are going to learn about another uh, side effect which is remember coroutine scoff so in our previous video we have seen like how we can use the launch effect and where we can use it so if you haven't seen that video please go and check that out so that you can learn more about all the side effects and so in previous video we have seen like where we can use the launch effect so basically launch effect we use uh, inside a composable uh, so where we wanted to launch a coroutine scope so and you know in the, uh, we know like uh, and we when we use launch effect we don't need to worry about uh, the leaking and uh, uh, leaking of the task because it automatically uh, starts uh, the com when the composition start it starts the coroutine when the composition start of the composable function and it stops when the composite composition ends so we can use the launch effect there but launch effect has some limitations so first of all launch effect we know it uh, is itself a uh, composable so we can only call it from another composable we cannot use it in the callbacks function for example on button click we cannot launch it from there we cannot use in the uh, use it in the callbacks another limitation is uh, with launch effect we cannot control the life cycle of coroutine so uh, you, with launch effect you know you you cannot control the life cycle of coroutine scope basically you cannot cancel it anytime you want or you cannot con control it so uh, for example if you start an animation if you want to stop uh, with launch effect you cannot do this so to overcome these things we have to use remember coroutine scope so let's start with an example let's see how we can use remember coroutine scope so for this i am making a file remember uh, coroutine coroutine scope example right i am making this a file and in this let's have uh, our uh, timer function um, so basically what is remember coroutine scope so remember coroutine scope is a composable function which returns a scope to us this coroutine scope is tied uh, to the composable from where uh, you know it is it is called and will automatically be cancelled when the composable composable uh, leaves the composition so basically remember coroutine scope is a composable function by default and uh, it it will return us a scope and this coroutine scope is uh, tied to the composable so basically the composable function uh, composable from where it is called and it uh, when the composition ends of that function and it will uh, it will automatically uh, be cancelled in the coroutine scope and when that function leaves the composition so let's see it with example and you know with the scope we can uh, safely you know we can launch the composition uh, coroutine uh, from any composable uh, using the callback so with with remember coroutine scope we can uh, start the you know we can launch the coroutine anytime you want or we can pass it in the callbacks as well so uh, for this uh, let me make a function here function remember coroutine scope example taking it like this and make it a composable function right and to do this properly let me take this function uh, our suspend function basically so what is saying now conflicting okay so we have another we have this function so we don't need to i will call it from there only so and here let's start let's see how we can use it so we will have well we will have a scope will be remember coroutine scope right so returning coroutine scope bound to this point in composition when uh, 
composition using the optional coroutine context provided by get context get context will only be called once the same coroutine scope instance so this scope will be cancelled when this call leaves the composition so you can see how uh, how this is bind to the composition the coroutine context returns get context uh, may not contain a job as this scope is considered to be child of the composition so you can read about it more and so this is how we can get a scope so let me take a column and in this column let's uh, give a modifier i'm giving a modifier dot fill max size and horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally vertical arrangement arrangement dot center yeah and let's take a button button on click we have so in this what i'm uh, previously if you seen like we cannot and this is the function like in on click we, we cannot use the launch effect here so for this um, to starting a coroutine we have to use this scope remember coroutine scope so let's try scope dot we can launch so this will give us the coroutine scope and here what i'm going to do is we are going to use try catch and in this exception and same and we have our start timer function start timer yeah and i'm giving it a time as six thousand and six seconds and now let's take the lambda the start timer function which we have taken previously and here print we can do like print ln and in this i'm going what i'm going to print is timer and it and let's above this take another print ln we'll say timer started and here we can just say timer cancelled cancel right so and let's give it in text start time so this is our button and uh, you will see like uh, we how in button uh, on click and we can pass we can start this coroutine scope using the scope dot launch so this is how we have to use and the remember coroutine scope when you want to start a coroutine in the callback so let's try running it i am giving it uh, on the here i am giving it let's start our what's the name we have given yeah so let me run it so in uh, our logcat we will see uh, when we start the timer uh, so timer will be started and uh, it will end after five seconds oh, sorry six seconds so we have the start timer and um, later we have this and let me click on the start timer so yeah timer started and it will end after six seconds timer ended so you will see like uh, how uh, we can start a coroutine and and see another example uh, let me uh, let me enable the rotation auto rotate on and let's see if it get got cancelled when the recompositions happen so let me start the timer uh, timer started and let rotate the device we should be getting yeah timer cancelled and again start timer yeah, timer is cancelled so uh, we see like uh, timer is uh, it is bind to the composition as well so 
we we can also do like we if you want the manual cancellation we can also do which was not possible using the launch effect so for this what we have to do is let's take a job so in this what we can do is uh, we can we can use a job or you can just use the scope dot cancel or we can use a job where uh, we have to use job job by uh, remember we have to use and we have to use take it as mutable state of initial state as null let's import it and uh, as you know to on click uh, to start this what we have to do use it uh, use here is job will be equals to scope dot launch and uh, we can just use it now start timer we have another thing which this is in the column yeah let's take a spacer and modifier modifier dot height as 30 dp import it and after the spacer let's take another button in button on click what we have to do is we have to cancel the our timer and for this what we can do is we have job and this is nullable dot cancel we can use so this is how you can cancel the coroutine in between and let's print cancel timer right and take the text here text as cancel timer right so let's run it and see if we can cancel the uh, this is how you can control the uh, life cycle of coroutine uh, using the job start timer timer started i can cancel the timer cancelled so the cancel timer and timer is got cancelled and if i start click timer three times so it uh, what with the jobs is you can only cancel the last but other will be called so this is how it works and also if you want um, yeah, if you want to cancel using the scope you can just simply use scope dot cancel and so with the scope dot cancel the only thing is uh, like you can just start uh, the scope uh, you, you can just start it once and you can cancel it once you cannot for for like doing uh, for doing the same again you have to do the recomposition so that's why we don't use scope and we can use the jobs independently so we can control uh, so this is how guys we have to use the remember coroutine scope to uh, basically launch a coroutine uh, in inside a, either in the click of a button or in the callbacks you have to use remember coroutine scope otherwise you can use the launch effect so this is it for today in the next video we are going to uh, learn about the another side effect and we will see uh, another side effect will be remember update updated state so this will that will be going our next so keep watching and stay tuned so guys and do let me know how you like this video if you have any questions or doubt post it in the comments we will try to get back to you as soon as possible and do like comment and subscribe that's all for today thank you bye